All right, guys, so this is the video on these two devices that I've been testing. Uh, as you know, we have multiple internet sources coming in to one Ubiquiti Edge Router 12P that we then bond and send out to our network. I have to have those for work. So if you miss those, please click here and get caught up on the videos. That way you're up to speed about when I talk about these. So why do people use these? What's the benefit? And um, are they are they going to make it into my final network build? Because we travel full time and because of the work that I do, there are certain times that I have to have internet, I can't have slow internet, and I can't have slow connections or dropping connections at all. Um, I have to have consistent signal. And so how do these fit in there? Um, that is this video. Now, as far as these two devices in front go, um, they are LTE modems. They are the modems that are used inside of ATMs, any kind of kiosks, or any kind of digital IOTs, like digital billboards, um, digital signage, anything like that. These are what is used inside them. And they're different, but they have the basic same concept. So I'll start with this one. This is the cradle point. For most people, this is all they need. So this is unlocked. You put your SIM card in here. It's fully unlocked for the entire world. It's international. So any SIM card from any carrier you put in here will work. So for us, um, we've tried with Verizon and we've also tried with one of our Google Fi SIM cards and it works great. Basically, you put your SIM card in here. Your cell signal gets pulled in to these two antennas which are boosted and inside the modem it converts it over to internet and so you have two LAN ports and so you can run them to your router and then push it out to your home network secured or on this device there are two antennas for Wi-Fi and this is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and so you could just plug in this device Put your SIM card in and you can have Wi-Fi to your whole network when you're on the road and this actually works really good. It's an LTE device. This is also commercial grade so it's very robust. There are redundancies built in. It's pretty easy to configure. You basically put your SIM card in, turn it on, and off you go. You have internet. You can either have internet through Wi-Fi or internet through the LAN port. So it's, it's a really nice device. and. For us, this has worked. Um, not sure if that's gonna make it into the final uh, solution, but it's actually a really good device and a lot of people use it. I mean, like I said, this is what they use in ATMs, digital signage, whatever. It's a, It has a proven track record. It's a very good device. The other device <clears throat> is this Digi Transport. This is the same concept as the other ones. So this <clears throat> actually has two SIM card ports in it. Now you can put the same SIM card in it, you can put two different SIM cards in it, which is what we've tried. This is also international, so it will work with multiple SIM cards. So um, for us, this is a very good solution for us because we want to have multiple redundancy in our network because of what I do for work, I have to add signal. Now I'm not on the internet all the time and I don't always have to have all this redundancy but there are certain things that I do with work that I have to have this and there can't be any kind of a slowdown or glitch or loss of connection when I'm doing the work and so this is our solution for that. So the majority of the time our Verizon MiFi Jetpack, this is the workhorse. Um, I can take the SIM card out of this and put it in this one or this one and it works pretty much the same, no problems. I'm not 100% sure if these are going to make it into our final network because I'm actually in touch with the Cradle Point company and they're looking at getting me their new device to test as it has some new features that I'm really interested in. And so uh, this was good to test this device because I really like this device. It's very simple 
it's international, it's unlocked, you pop in your SIM card, you flick the switch over from off to on, and boom, it just works. I don't use the wireless, I use the, I use the ethernet port, so the wireless is irrelevant for me, but as an all-in-one solution, this is a great solution for anybody that travels. Um, it's very simple, it's very compact, the antennas unscrew and lay flat. Um, your SIM card in your phone or a secondary SIM card you can actually get from your provider just pops in and it works and you have a signal wherever you go and you can you can secure this router very well and so this is a great solution for anybody on the road this one the digi will hold two SIM cards so if you I know I know a lot of people that when they travel they have two SIM cards. They have a Verizon AT&T, they have a T-Mobile AT&T, they have a Verizon Sprint, they have a whatever. They have two different cards. And this works great for them because you can put the two SIM cards in here and it'll pull them in and give you the one ethernet out that you can then run to your little travel router like your TP-Link or whatever you choose. Yeah, you can you can buy the TP-Links or whatever little travel routers you can get for 50 bucks or less. So that's a great solution. As far as my network and the way that it works, um, right now these two do not have a place in my network. Um, when I get the new Cradle Point from the Cradle Point company, um, I will test it. The new device from Cradle Point actually has two SIM cards in it. And so I'm hoping that it will work for what I'm looking for. If the new Cradle Point works out the way that I think it will, then it will have a permanent home in my network and I will shoot that update video for you guys. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions, jump over to our website. There's going to be a post there. Ask whatever questions you want. I'll answer them. Uh, but guys, we are on to the next adventure.